10 p.m. Sunday, 13th of August. My birthday was yesterday. Um, I was 135. Um, may not look my age, but God's live a long time. I'm your number one. Don't you forget it. It's 5.15. It's a Monday morning, the 14th of August. Oh God. Most people will be just getting up for work now. But this is when my my holidays start. I mean my, I wouldn't say holidays, but my days off start. No more weekends for the number one. I don't know what I'm going to do the day. I think I'm going to get a couple of more hours sleep. Um, I hardly had any sleep because I've had the, sla the flaps open all night. And the wind's just been flapping them about and I've kept us awake all night. And I didn't even realise it was raining and my sleeping bag's getting wet and everything because I've had this uh, in the gusset open. Uh, so... I'm going to have another few more hours. Uh, uh, I've had to go outside and uh, batten it down, batten the air, uh, batten the underpants down, tighten it up a bit. Uh, I'm thinking about a campsite today. I mean, it shouldn't be as busy as last time I was on one, like. Because the, uh, the peak time of the year is over now, isn't it? Well, it is for the uh, for people going on holiday. It's usually the last week in July, the first week in August, isn't it? So I'm over that now, so it shouldn't be as busy. Yeah. I was going to do a cab site in a hill, but I don't know what I'm doing because I can't believe this weather. Um, the last couple of days has been nice, and I've been stuck in a factory. Come away, and it's just totally—it's turned totally shit. Totally shit. It's fucked us right off, like I've been baking alive at work, and then coming out on my dinner break, and it's been lovely outside, and. Come camping after a fucking seven days work and seventy odd hours of graft, and, and you come to this shit. Come to this shit. Get back here. This is not fucking real. It's after 4 p.m. It's the 15th of August. It's a Tuesday. I've just arrived on Gavel Fell. I'm the Israel Camper, the Israel Camper on the planet. See you there. That's the view outside. You can see Meld Wake down there, and you can see Grassmoor. You can see uh, Whiteless Pike, you can see Wando up, see all them down there. You can even see Whiteside. 
you can see Hope Girl Head. And I'm not sure if you can see Grysdale Pike there. You possibly can. You can see all them. And this is what's in the tent. Dear's Wild Camp and Kitchen. We'll get that here. I'm just cooking a light snack. Before the evening meal. Quite breezy out there. We'll get back here. Before the evening meal. We'll get back here. Quite windy. Quite windy. It's coming up to 8.30, it's the 15th of August, it's a Tuesday night, and it's all clagged over, it's all clagged over. I mean I was expecting a clear night, the night actually according to the forecast what I was looking at, I still think it might happen yet, but at the moment it's just clagged over. I think it's this wind as well, it needs, um, it's been constant wind all the time. But uh, I think it still might clear up later on. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We might see a few meteorites. I've missed the mate, I've missed the uh, the weekend when it was supposed to happen, but I was at work uh, all weekend. Got seven days in a row. The last two were two 12 hour shifts. Done a few 10 hour, couple of 10 hour shifts. Uh, nine hour shift, eight hour shift. I think I've done two where uh, nine hours shift. I think. can't remember, but anyway, I've done quite a few hours, so I wasn't I wasn't able to get out um, the weekend. So, in fact, I won't be able to get out any more weekends. Me, um, me weekends are over unless I have holidays booked in or whatever. But. Weekends are over. The day's off now, or Thursday, Friday. No, hang on. The day's off. I can get away at camping on the Sunday night. Um, I finish Sunday night about 7 pm, 6, 7 pm Sunday night. So I can get away on, I can camp on the Sunday night. I'm off Monday, I can camp Monday night. I'm off Tuesday, I can camp, I can camp Tuesday night. And when. No, hang on. Uh, Tuesday night will be my last. So I can camp Sunday night, Monday night and Tuesday night. I come home Wednesday afternoon and then I'm back to work on Thursday. That's the way it's looking. So I'm work th I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I can, I can camp Sunday night, Monday night and Tuesday night. Um, but the Sunday night is basically just a... Uh, like a stop-off camp, as I call it. 
because it'll be too late by I get there and uh, too late to do any real hills or anything. So that'll just be like get get to the location or whereabouts at the location and then just use the next two nights to like do any hills or whatever, which is pretty good actually, pretty good. Um, we'll see how it goes because we'll see how it goes until they start mucking us around and putting us on different ships. And I mean, this week I've done a full seven days because I've been covering holidays like for somebody for a full week. So I've done like I've done their days and I've done my days as well, sort of thing. Um, so that's why. Basically, that's why I've been here so many days this week. It's been a tough week. <sighs> Ooh. Wind down time. Wind down time. If you're number one. Get a look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I'm the number one, don't you forget it. That's all you need, all you need for a supper. You don't need anything more than that, apart from this. That there's a couple of months old, a couple of months old. Claggy outside, doesn't look like it's going to lift. So I'll not be seeing any stars or or meteorites, Mete meteorites, <laughs> Mete Mete meteorites, Mete meteorites. Right, I'll get the steak down before it gets cold. It's coming up at five o'clock in the morning. It's the sixteenth of August. This is my third night camping. Third night camping. Um, the first night, it was basically like I say, stop off, finish work, um, got there about half seven-ish, somewhere around there, had a meal in the pub. been in this spot quite a few times it's in between the sort of lakes the lake district and where I work so it's 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 not it's about an hour's an hour and a half drive probably about just over an hour really now 15 minutes up there uh. <sighs> next day I went on a campsite Braithwaite um, I like it because it's got good showers and all that and um, has a cafe and that and stuff and there's a pub nearby and it's not bad for that it's not cheap but it's uh, it'll be better when it gets near with the winter because uh, there'll be less people on the site we all like it yeah, it's quite busy at the moment we we'll camped there the second night, um, and this is the third night on Gable Fell. It's right next to the hill I done a few weeks ago, um, Blake Fell. It's not far from there. Um, it wasn't the actual planned hill, to be honest. Uh, all the way up, all the way up, like just before actually turn on the hill I was supposed to be doing somewhere else but it didn't turn out so uh, I ended up coming up here I mean I, I was going to do this anyway but uh, it wasn't the one I was going to be doing the night yeah. but it turned out uh. <sighs> Been windy all night, like spitting on a rain now and then. 
getting some strong gusts coming in now and then it's there uh, the tent seems to be put up pretty well actually um, there's very little sag here and there it's pretty it's up pretty well I think well it's good morning it's about 8 30 I'm going to pack away, pack away. It's been windy like this since they've since put the tent up, it's never stopped. It's, uh, you expect that on the hill, like, expect it on the hill. Um, it hasn't stopped us sleeping, like, I've slept all right, like, um, I woke about five and went back to sleep. It's rained a little bit, but not much. Anyway, time to pack away. Well, that's another end of a wild camp. One of the most consistent, persistent, Welcome on Earth, Dave's Wild Camping, greatest, don't you forget it. <laughs>